Welcome back, comic book collectors and enthusiasts. My name is Brandon. You're watching Mon Comics. Please join me for the first unboxing of 2024 with a subscriber win from Mike at Casino Comics. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is doing well. Uh, I've already done my collecting goal video. So this is like my first official, I'm gonna show some comics to the new year video. I got two different things that came into the mail this week. Uh, the first stuff was actually from uh, my buddy JP, uh, one half of the Absolute Game of Nerds uh, YouTube channel. He, he sent me a couple things. Uh, he AOK'd me uh, two things that are really special to me. Uh, one is uh, my dad raised me as a Steelers fan. I'm sorry if there's any Ravens fan or out, out fans out there or anyone that doesn't love the Steelers. My dad raised me on them, so that's my team. So he sent me a autograph Lewis Lips Steelers wide receiver card. Uh, really cool. Uh, I don't have any Steelers autographs. Uh, usually I get them and gift them to people that are fans in my family. So thanks for that, uh, JP. But the really cool thing he sent me is, uh, blade number one. Uh, this is from the nineties. It's got a great foil cover with a demon up there. Uh, I didn't have time to do the research and, and see who drew this. Uh, but I believe this is the first ongoing series of uh, Blade. I'll correct myself with some title cards if uh, it's not. Uh, of course, Blade made his first appearance in Tomb of Dracula number 10. And it's very minor stuff. So I believe this is his first ongoing series from the 90. Uh, very cool, JP. Thanks for sending these out to me, brother. I appreciate you. And uh, both will be treasured. I actually got two other books in the mail this week uh, from a friend of the channel uh, by the name of Ben Taz. You might remember him from this image. Uh, the guy who uh, helped Mike from Lunch Money Comics uh, create that image. He took uh, like an amalgamation of different images from um, uh, Nightcrawler from some different comics and Man-Thing and he blended them together. So it wasn't his original art, but he did create it. And then he did some personal touches on the faces. So he reached out. He was at uh, His and Her Comics for their big sale, I believe, and uh, somewhere else. And he found me two issues. And uh, I said, I'd love to buy those from me. And he said, they're so cheap. I'll just send you my list of, of books I'm looking for. And you can hit me back. And I said, absolutely. So the first thing he sent was Marvel 2-in-1, uh, number 43. Uh, so this is from 1978, uh, written by Ralph Macchio. Uh, cover art by John Byrne and Walt Simonson. And John Byrne did the pencils inside. Uh, so really cool. I uh, can't wait to dig into this one. Um, you got the thing on the cover, cap. Forgot this guy's name, Jude, maybe. And then, of course, the man thing. So very cool, Ben, to do that. And another one is um, a series I don't collect, but what a great cover. It is Savage She-Hulk, number eight from 1980, uh, written by David Kraft and cover art by Michael Golden. Uh, really great, uh, just cover, black cover. Uh, with the thing or man thing lurking over She-Hulk. So awesome, Ben. I really appreciate you sending these. Um, once you give me your list, I'll make sure to send some back. So thank you, dude. All right. So I already saved some time by uh, unboxing. This was actually packaged really well. Again, this comes to me uh, via Mike from Casino Comics. He has been a friend of mine for a while now. He watches my channel. I watch his. Uh, if you haven't gone and checked out his stuff, uh, please do so. Really calm, cool guy, uh, chill guy, great voice, uh, has a great comic collection, and he's very knowledgeable. And so he had a 100 subscriber giveaway. I entered, and I won. So uh, thanks for doing that, Mike. Uh, before I get into this, if any one of you uh, haven't entered my giveaway for the new year, uh, feel free to subscribe. That's the first part of it. And uh, in the video previous to this, you've still got some time, hashtag 2024, and tell me, are you Team Marvel, Team DC? And uh, if you win, I'll draw it uh, later tonight, and or actually, I'll draw it tomorrow morning on Saturday. And uh, if you win, I will ship you out, whether you said Marvel or DC, a prize package. And Mike did something very similar with this one, in that he wanted to tell... Uh, he wanted the people watching for you to tell him his your favorite character so he could uh, send me a surprise. So I have no idea what's going in here. Um, I know I appreciate the support. I know Mike would appreciate the support if you go over and show him some love. So thanks, Mike. Let's get into this. So packaged very well. All right. So very well bubble wrapped. He's got the blue painter's tape in here. Wow, great packaging, Mike. Um, so many great people in this this community and this hobby and I think we've all bought enough stuff to know how to, to package it up well um, so 
This is awesome. So what do we got? Oh my god, what did you what did you do? Wow, here let me get this out of the way. So unbelievable dude. Got some raw books and we do have a slab. So what am I gonna do here? Going to the raw. So let's start off with, oh, I'm gonna take all the tape off so we can just roll through them then. Fantastic Four 176. Very cool. Um, I don't have this one. Um, I might, you know, I'm trying to do the Lee Kirby run one through 102. Um, so I don't have this, but, um, I might go after the later runs after that, uh, once I get all those, but, uh, one thing at a time. So that's very cool. Oh, dude. Aliens versus Predator. I saw this cover somewhere. Maybe it was his channel and I remarked that this was really cool. Look at that. Um, amazing. A Xenomorph has his hands wrapped around the Predator's head. Really cool. So I think in the comments there's a Predator, Fantastic Four, you know me, man thing. So we also have, oh man, the Frankenstein Monster, number nine. Um, covered by John Buscema, 1974. Uh, not first meeting uh, Frank Kills Dracula. But look at that Buscema cover. That is cool. Thank you so much, Mike. The next one we have. Oh, very cool. Supernatural Thrillers, number two, featuring The Invincible Man. Uh, I do have some of the Supernatural Thrillers. I can't believe I didn't make this a collecting goal for this year. I love the Supernatural Thrillers. You know, you got The Headless Horseman. You've got uh, Invincible Man. You've got uh, Frankenstein's Monster. So, like, a lot of the classic um, Universal Monsters. So, uh, 1973 Bronze, Bronze Age. Artist, uh, Jim Steranko. It is the first appearance of Invisible Man in comics. So that's awesome. Right to my heart. Um, Fantastic Four, number 69. I do not have this one. So this helps my collecting goal. Uh, this is crazy. This is a beautiful book. Thanks, Michael. Wow. Look at that. Look at that Kirby goodness. Where's the Invisible Woman? She's not here right now. By Ben Betrayed. And then this is just insane. This is too much. Um, but now I have your address, uh, my friend, and I will get you back. Definitely don't have this issue. Uh, it is on, it was on my radar, and this helps me uh, immensely. Fantastic for 66. So, from 1967, it's even got the custom label up there. It is a Stanley Story, Jack Kirby, and Joe Senna art and cover. And this is actually two-part origin of him, uh, Warlock Begins. So, this is like the, the first part of the him, Adam Warlock storyline. Um, wow, dude. I am speechless. I don't know what to say. This prize pack... This was his 100 subscriber giveaway, and it's the first giveaway he's ever done. Um, from the packaging to the way he posted the giveaway, as far as like you telling him your favorite characters and him curating a package, this is unbelievable, and I'm very honored to have won it. Um, wow. And a 6.0, off-white to white pages. Um, that's my jam, mid to low grade. Uh, what Lurks Behind the Beehive, The Mystery of the Year. Just a really cool, beautiful cover. And I, I do like the custom labels. That's from uh, Fantastic Four 49, of course, the Galactus cover. But, wow, thanks, dude. Michael, Mike, Mike, Mike. So to review again, Fantastic Four, number 176. In Supernatural Thrillers, number two. Frankenstein Monster, number nine. Aliens vs. Predator. Phil Norwood is the artist for this one. Fantastic Four, 69. So this scratches two more off my Fantastic Four run. Wow. And then, 
Wow. If you're not already checking out Casino Comics, go show this man some love. This was incredible. I don't know if you're ever going to be able to top another giveaway, Mike, because this is just mind-blowing. Your packaging, your book selection, and this is just... I'm floored. I, I'm, I'm speechless. I will get you back. I will... Trust me, I know what you collect, dude. So uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. I really appreciate uh, the love and support I've already been shown last year. And uh, we're coming up in a couple weeks is my one-year anniversary on YouTube. And everyone, uh, not only people watching my channel uh, that are just fans, subscribers, but the fellow community uh, like Mike and so many others that are just too kind, go above and beyond. This was unreal. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you have a great, safe weekend. Go check out Casino Comics. And until next time, keep reading those comics.